Alright, what is up guys? Today we will be playing a mini game called Carts and Darts, and Kip will explain how to play. So this is called Carts and Darts. So okay. you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna get in a minecart and then you have to shoot your side um targets every time you get to like a stopping point. Or preferably before you get to the stopping point. Um because it's a race. Oh, okay. So when you shoot the targets, it powers a section of the rail. If you don't shoot the target, you're going to get stuck until you shoot the target. And so come over here, grab a bow. I don't think it matters if it's a little low durability. You're not allowed to use outside bows. <laughs> oh, we've running short on arrows. How many you're, should you're I take? To, you're allowed to grab two stacks of arrows. Just one bow. It should be fine. You can read the rules if you want. They're all right here. You could show that in the episode. All right, if you want to read the rules, you can pause the video. I'm just going to quickly skim through them just real quick. And now if you want to grab your favorite Mario, <laughs> Mario Kart player. That's cool. Wait, I was gonna say, um, I always pick the female character in games most of the time, so I'm just gonna pick your head. That's fine, yeah. I'm gonna go with Bowser, so we're not, like, love interests. <laughs> and then, over here, if you want to push the button, this is our rock, sa paper, scissors machine. Oh, the tie. So we're gonna grab our items, put them into the barrel. So you want to push it again. Rochambeau! I beat you. So we could do best two out of three, if you want. Uh, yeah, two out of three. Okay. So I beat you once. Oh, another tie. Rochambeau! Oh, you beat me! It's tied. Another tie. Oh, and so, you beat me. Yeah, if you want to come over here. So now you get to pick the inside or the outside lane. Neely thinks the outside is harder, but I think the inside has the inherent advantage as it's the inside and the shortest. Um, but he's the one who built it too, so he might well, know. The thing is, we're, we're not trying to beat the clock. We're trying to hit targets, right? Yeah, we're going to be racing each other at this point. We are going to be timing. I think it times itself. When we both go in. Well, my thinking is, if I take the longer one, I'll have more time. But how how do we exactly race? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so basically, you're going to put your diamond in the chest, and I will dispense a cart. And then we both get in our carts, and then once we hit this target block, the game will start. And so the entire race, you want to pull W so that you're moving forward. And all these rails at the beginning are powered. You're going to keep going until you get to see right here it's no longer powered preferably before you hit the spot you will have shot the target block to power the rails if you haven't you will hit this and you'll stop and then you'll have to turn and shoot that target block um and it keeps going around the entire race oh, okay Just I, like I, that i think I, I understand now so the shorter one you have less time but if you hit them accurately you're going to be in, be ahead easily. Yeah. I never thought about the time thing. That's totally true. Um, just, just one thing to look out for. What? If you're over here and the opponent hits the Koopa shell onto your track. So like if I'm on this track, I'd want to shoot your side. Um, what happens is it drops an arrow to this target block and you get dis or you get thrown out of the cart right here into the mud and you'll have to get back into your cart. So it's a little bit of a of a trap, I guess. That's cool. And um over there you'll see you can get a power up, which is a fishing rod, which if you're behind the person you could 
hit them with the fishing rod and pull them backward and kind of get a little bit ahead. No one has successfully done that as far as I know. But it's it's fun if you've if you've already hit this target. Um you might want to get a fishing rod. Okay. So I forgot, did you pick the inside or the outside? Oh, um I'm going to choose the longer one. Which one? The outside? Yeah, the outside, I guess. Yeah, because um, I don't know the course, so. Ready? Okay, we're going. Yes. I get the first oh, no. <laughs> well, how do I? Oh, no, I'm stupid. Okay. No, you, yeah, keep holding W forward. Yeah, okay. Like on the track forward. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I'm so bad. I'm missing all no, it's of them. Okay. I'll pull it a little easy. All right, I definitely um, have a lead now. <laughs> That's okay. I'll practice and get better and beat you. Definitely. Do I hit that one? Wait, which one do I? Oh, that one. So you, you're red, so you only want to hit red ones. Unless you're feeling like you want to give me help. I don't know. <laughs> So I bad at here, this. I just pass. <laughs> you gotta hit him like pretty far away to keep going. Yeah, it's tough, especially on these corners. Ah! Wait, so yeah, you don't want to hit the Koopa shell on your side, otherwise you'll throw yourself out. Yeah, I don't want that. I'm already losing. Oh man, this is tough. It is. I'm not even good at aiming with a bow, so this is extra tough. Well, it's uh, a, <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, you can always come back, practice, get, get your PR. Oh, what? oh I went right, right, right past it. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> Thing I got two stacks, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you might want to get to you when you're just beginning. Wait, actually, how long is this thing? I think it's four laps. I might be wrong. So I just completed my second. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna lap you. <laughs> Probably. Better hurry up. I was trying to hit the shell. I literally, I keep missing it by just the smallest amount. I'm right behind you. Yeah. I don't know. Nipping your heels. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that was it. I just, <laughs> I just uh, finished. Oh, okay. Darn. Well, that was fun. Yeah, you're... No, keep going. What, you what do you mean? Finish. You won. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely have to finish. You still have a timer running. What? Why did you get out? <laughs> Wait, why am I... Oh, I didn't hit the right one. Go, go, go. So, so I definitely see the advantage versus someone completely new. You pretty much know where to aim. Yeah, I definitely have gotten better. I, I, I'm not the best by any means. Some of these people have, have gotten like under five minutes. It's pretty amazing. Or five stacks, I should say, not minutes. So how, how much time did I take? Does it actually like keep track or? Yeah, so you took a... You might not want to record this one. Eight <laughs> well, stacks yeah. plus 41. Wait, what? What does that mean? So here, we'll put it back. But eight stacks plus 41 is your record. Oh, there we go. We filled it back up. I should fill mine back up. And I got six stacks plus 31, which definitely is not a record. I was, I was trying to slow down for you. So. Oh. 
Is that like <laughs> so? What is that? What, like, what does that mean? Like, what does that convert to in time? Or is that just how many uh, times you missed? It might be the same number of pieces of sand in seconds, but I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Neely. Over here, you'll see you were eight stacks plus 41. And I don't see. Yeah. You might not want to put that up. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I had a lot of fun, but I think we're going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will be back with another video soon.